Panthers.com. I'm here with Lady Panthers assistant coach Doug Hebler. The Lady Panthers are facing off with the Lady Bearcats of SBU in the Highway 13 cat fight. Doug, tell us a little bit about coming home from Colorado. You guys are 2-0. and You beat Colorado Mesa, a nationally ranked team. Tell us a little bit about what that means going into tonight. Well, going into tonight, I think it gives us a lot of confidence. I thought that the trip to uh, Colorado really allowed our team to bond because we had so many new players coming in. So our experienced players really accepted the new kids and uh, the new girls really just fit in and, and found their role. So I think that was really important and I think it's going to help us tonight. Perfect. And with SBU being such a big rivalry, tell us what it means that we're here in the O and the fans are here. Oh, I mean, the fans come out here and they give us so much energy here. Uh, you know, it's nice to be in your home crowd. I mean, both campuses are about 30 minutes apart from each other. Uh, a lot of the kids played against each other in high school, and so they know each other really well. So this atmosphere is just going to be electric here tonight, and we're really looking forward to this game. Thanks, Coach. Thank All right, and with that being said, we're going to kick it over to Bobby Hearn for the highlights. Thank you, Alex. Isn't she a beauty? But now you get me. What a letdown. But oh, isn't it wonderful to have basketball back rivalry game. Number three, Lady Panthers versus rival SBU. Annie Armstrong starts quickly for Dury. She scores the first five DU points, gets the friendly bounce there. That's Dylana Johnson. She presented major problems for Dury in the first half, got anywhere she wanted to on the floor, and led SBU with nine in the first half. Sanika Shields played big for the Lady Panthers in the Colorado trip. Two double doubles. The turnaround puts DU up four. But something about rivalry games. They're always close. Lisette Placencia all the way from Peru, buries a triple. SBU goes up a deuce. Addie Roller, the junior transfer starting guard, officially gets her name on the board as well. Close one in the first half. Actually, couldn't be closer. 29 all after one half of play. Second half, Molly Miller's club came out looking like a different team. Shot under 40% in the first half, so Annie Armstrong went to work. Noticeably more aggressive to start the season. She led all scores with 18, and then it started raining. First, Alice Heinzler finds Shelby White, then Paige Wilson knocks it down. All five Dury starters finished in double figures. Shields notched her third double-double in three games, 11-11. and 11. Addie Roller finds White to finish it. Those two played at Purdy High School together. They still got it. Drury rolls SBU 80-62. They start 3-0 and receive the Highway 13 Catfight Trophy once again. Armstrong and Miller after the game. I don't know. Last year was my first year, and coming in, I already knew. You know, they had established players like Beth and Kylie, and Amber was just so dominant. But this year, I really feel like I need to step up and be more of an offensive threat. Oh, it's exciting, and gosh, this is my second home to me, and I think that when you have the fan base that we do, and I, I'm biased maybe, but the most amazing fans in America, I mean, to fill this place up and to feel that energy, I don't think they realize how much that sixth man attribute helps us. And so, so thankful and, and exciting, and I had a, I had a blast.